Inevitably, as you work with a Linux operating system, the time will come that you have to work with files. Just like you do in a Windows environment, moving your files around between my documents and the C drive and the various temporary locations, downloading files from the Internet, possibly renaming them, deleting them when you're done with them. So there are many different actions that you'll actually be performing against files on your Linux file system. So having that basic file management capability is extremely important. So we can pretty much do anything that you would imagine with a file on your file system. We can create them, copy them, move them, and delete them. Now generally, you create files by using particular programs, such as the operating system, word processors, and other various applications. Most of the time, those programs will create those files in their own particular file format. Now, if you want to just create a file, such as for a placeholder, so that it's not overwritten, or just as an example, you can use the touch command. If you want to create a directory, use the mkdir, short for make directory command. Copying files is very simple. You can simply type cp. The cp command can also be used to move a directory full of files or individual files at any given time. So in the example that we've given here, we're using the cp command with the old file name, and we're actually copying it to a subdirectory of our existing directory that we're working in to a file named new underscore file. Now all of these different commands have a lot of available switches that allow you to be flexible. So it would definitely be beneficial to spend some time, say, in the help or man pages available for your CP, your make dir, your MV command, and some of the other options available to you for moving files. So let's take a few moments and visit our virtual machine and take a look at some of the options that are available to us for moving and creating files. So we'll look at files that we already have in place. And we're going to go ahead and just create an example file. So our example file is present. If we want to copy the file, we simply type in CP. And we can use our tab key to expand that out automatically for us. And we'll just say example 2. So example and example 2 are duplicates of each other. If we want to remove them or delete them, we simply type RM. And then if we hit the tab key, it'll give us our first option. So we can remove example. Or if we want to use a wild card, we simply type in EX asterisk. And it will remove example and example 2 because they both start with the characters EX. So now those are gone. If you want to create a directory, we simply type in mkdir. And now we have a directory named A. You can see here is highlighted in blue. Let's say we want to move that directory. We can simply navigate to the root A directory. There's no files there right now. But we can also actually copy a file one level back by typing in dot dot forward slash the file name and then the local file name. So now we've moved or rather created a copy of the install log file from the previous directory into our current working directory. So as you can see, there are several available options that we can use to work with the existing files, create new files, or even duplicate files and directories that exist inside the Linux operating system.